What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be checking out Railgrade, which is a management simulator focused on trains and train networks to actually transport resources and power our industry on an off-world planet. So I'm actually looking forward to this because, as you know, we're big logistics and factory nerds. So without further ado, let's jump into this and I believe we're going to be starting off with a tutorial. Congratulations on a safe trip. On behalf of all of us at Nakatani Chemicals, I'd like to bid you welcome to our colony. We have recently identified a significant opportunity to improve the current infrastructure of the planet, which is why you're here, Administrator. To help us implement a new mode of transportation, one that once conquered Earth's old frontiers. The railway. It's now your responsibility to grow our network of railways and oversee the management of our most important industries. By developing a transport network for our powerful train engines, we'll be able to easily deliver resources and fuel growth across the planet. Succeed, and our colony will be the envy of the entire galaxy. Fail, and well, you don't need to worry about the consequences right now. I know you might miss Earth, but don't worry. When you've seen what's possible here, you'll never want to leave. Good luck, Administrator. Everyone is counting on you. Okay, so that was interesting. So what they're advertising is not the reality from what it looked like from whatever their mech things are, but yeah, there was Zeppelins, there was everything. So I'm mean, interested to see how this game's going to have the Zeppelin right there, in fact. So welcome to your first region. Let's go over the basics of railway management. When in the region, your current main task can be found here. Keep an eye on the task to keep an eye. Okay, so that's the tasks. Uh, your main task in the region is to export for energy. Okay. Uh, these structures are geothermal power plants. They are one of many industries which produce energy. This is a Zeppelin dock. Freight can be delivered here for export, contributing to your objective and earning uh, profit. Okay, so we're going to need to bring some energy from these uh, into this Zeppelin dock to actually send it off. Okay, and I'm guessing we get currency for that as well. Uh, so before we can export energy, we need to build a track, stations and trains. Let's start a track and press 1. Okay. So if I press one, we can now build a track and we can just place it by just left clicking. Okay, so let's just kind of build it here, just like that. Track does not have a loop for the trains to be able to travel along the line. Okay, so they will reverse, cool, uh, good to know. So we don't have to put them on a loop. Next, we need to add two stations to our track. Press two uh, and select, okay. So we put one at the end and one at the other end. Okay, so that's there and that's there. So these white line are indicating what the train's gonna be built for us. So we can see it being connected to the Zeppelin dock where this one is connected to that building. So there's not much room here. So we can put it right at the top. Stations let you load and offload freight to and from nearby industries. You can connect multiple stations together to increase loading and offloading speed. Okay. Now that a railway is set up, buy a train and let it roll. Cool. First train. Let's do this. So I can just place it on the track, right? Oh, wow. This is a lot of information. Cost, upkeep, top speed. Select it so it's a boiler engine. We're going to need energy. It's going to cost us... Is that 16 yen? I think that's yen. Uh, and then press E to finalize train. Okay, fantastic. You've taken your first step as the colony's administrator. Now watch as your train delivers energy from the geothermal. Okay. So now that is just going to go backward and forward. And every time it goes here, it's going to pick up one energy and drop it off here at the Zeppelin dock, right? So it's going to... Lord... See, that's the thing. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of satisfactory train stations here. I'm expecting to put freight stations down. And obviously, the more stations we put down, apparently, the faster this goes. So now we've just got to wait for this to get to four. So this is going to go back on four. So I guess I'll just skip this bit and yeah. Okay, there we go. That is all four of them delivered. And now I think that is it. Victory, track and train. Personal bet. Wait, there's a time limit to do it? Hold on. Wait. C, 15 minutes, 5 minutes is an S or below. Reward, based upon achieved rank minus historic payout, you'll receive five, is that coupons or something? Interesting. Hey, Yoshida, good job building that track. The terminal was reporting the trains and track system passed all self-checks. 
Next, I'll unlock the branch control test. Follow the flashing dots on your office world diorama to the next region. Okay. Interesting. Oh my god, what is this? It's like Mario. So we've got stages to do. So this is tier one, tier two. And then we're going to work our way around the world. I don't know if it's open world or not then, or if it's time-based. I guess time will tell. But first impressions, that's what it's giving me right now. But it does seem like there is a lot with a lot of different maps and terrain types, which is going to become a different factor, right? So let's jump onto this one. So enter region. Yes, I understand. I'm guessing it's going to be another tutorial. So, hey, Yoshida, please do not laugh. Truth be told, I tried the self-checks before you were assigned to our division. I thought if I could master the control terminal, then I could start fixing the colonist economy myself. Instead, I get the self-check region train stuck. It just goes around and around, never arriving at the station. Okay. So he wants us to fix the problem with this train that keeps going around. Branch control. So I'm guessing we've got some turning points here, right? This train wants to deliver water to the city at the bottom of the hill. The station will accept water and supply and supply it to the adjacent city. Okay. Before we try to get to the train uh, down here, let's take a moment to get and handle your camera control. Oh, God. Now we've got camera controls. I'll BRB. Okay. Bada bing, bada bong. Let's get all the camera controls out the way. Hold space. Now we zoom in, zoom out, shift and twist and stuff like that. And then, yeah, we can now use middle mouse like that and then move your train back up to the sea. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Each train has its own route at each branch in the track. In this in this region, the train carrying water does not have a clear route to the awaiting city. Select the train by pressing the left mouse button when you're with your cursor. Is it above? And then start fixing the route. Okay. So if I just select the train. Oh, okay. We can see the, the flashing lights here, kind of like a landing strip. Uh, and then we can see the speed it's going. We can stop it, reverse it, configure it. We have a train camera and we can also follow it. Uh, okay. So what we need to do is we need to switch this right here. Now we can see it's new path and we need to get to this to the bottom of the hill so if we switch that one and then also switch that one and then also switch that one that should take us down there so now we just have to wait for it to uh to come down here so let's jump on the train cam and see how that is oh oh god oh god this is a bit jarring oh can jeez i can toggle the ui oh thumbnails i can have thumbnails what is this a roller coaster jesus Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my. I feel sick. I feel sick. Okay, there we go. After completing a region, you'll be assigned a rank. The time taken to complete a region is the only thing that impacts your rank. So we got an S rank. Of course, we kind of just saw this a minute ago. And you can go into photo mode at the end, and that's a bit weird. Um, okay. Hey, Yoshida. Thanks for clearing that branching mess. You made it look so easy. Please keep this pace or faster. Faster if preferable. Hmm. So let's move on to stage three. Uh, I'm going to guess this is ore because I'm seeing kind of like an ore thing here. I don't know what this is going on. This is a little bouncing train. Enter the region. Here we go. Let's see what he's got for us now. Hey, Yoshida. The manual introduces the self-check as validate com combinatory industrial chain handling but i think the plain words it means is ensure factories use the multiple input freight to create finished freight which is pretty important after all the essence of any colony economy is combining inputs into outputs and sending those outputs as inputs to another factory laying that form with many tiers deep and you get yourself an economy capable of sending rockets to space okay so he's just on about you know, we get iron to go to an iron plant, an iron plant to send it to somewhere else. That needs power, you know what I mean? Many industries produce outputs which require multiple freight inputs to create, of course. This is a steel mill. Select the steel mill by pressing the left, uh, and then with the cursor, okay, ba bada bing, bada bosh. Oh, okay, so we can see that this right here, the iron mine is going to this, and then also the coal mine, which is going to create steel. This sounds familiar. The steel mill requires two freight inputs, coal and iron, in order to produce steel. When you're ready, press backspace to exit the screen. So we can see it needs two iron and two coal. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Two iron storage. Two iron. I'm guessing that's what comes per these carriages, is two iron and two coal. And then it's going to produce two iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two iron, two coal is going to produce two steel. Okay, good to know. No catalyst. Catalyst increased production speed by 100% 
for 90 seconds. So it's kind of like a uh, an overclocking, but you get it for like 90 seconds. You can choose speed. Workforce is 0 out of 8. Level 0. Um, okay, and there's no catalyst. Speed is normal. Okay, cool. This is a coal mine. It produces coal that can be utilized in other industries. And then this is an iron mine. It produces iron that can be utilized in other industries. <laughs> Select either the coal mine or the iron mine to learn more about how they work. Iron. Okay, oh, I've got to keep holding space. It's a pain. Uh, okay, so select like this. Iron mines and coal mines both produce their respective outputs without the need of other inputs. They will continue to produce until their storage is full. There are many other resources extraction industries which also produce different foundational freight. When you're ready, press the back step. Okay. There is one more critical thing to know about before we put you to work, and that's workers. Select the steel mill by pressing the left mouse uh, key. When your cursor is above the steel mill, okay, we, know, we, we know this, we know this. So here we go, F, can I increase? Increase workers, so speed is it. Let's put it 100%, here we go. Industry must be staffed by workers in order for it to function. The closer they are to being fully staffed, the faster they'll produce outputs. You can add workers, yeah, yeah, assign eight workers to the steel mill, boom, 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 done. Fantastic, the steel mill is ready to work. Now all we need to do is provide it with iron and coal. Okay, we know how we're gonna do that. Let's build some tracks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a track and we're just going to build you uh, to there. And then I build you. Oh, does it have to go? Does it have to do the... Okay, uh, I, need, I, need to, I need to bulldoze already. Let's do that. Track. Let's do the straight first. I think this might be the easiest. And then build that to the like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same here. I feel like this road here is kind of planned out for us kind of um and there's a bit of an elevation there we can kind of see that that's going to cost us a little bit more oh god oh god that's a bit that's a bit weird isn't it oh god it's clipping there's it oh god oh no oh no look at it look at it <laughs> okay so now i need to put a station here 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 and here and then do a train. You call. And it's going to need two, right? I don't know how much these carry. I don't know how much. Let's just finalize it. And let's just do what... Let's see what one does. And we'll do the same on this side. Choose iron. And then let's... Uh, we can choose the custom color of it as well. Okay. So we can choose custom colors. Choose red, black, uh, whatever. Okay. Good to know. At least one engine is required. Oh, I didn't build an engine. There we go. Uh, and then finalize train. Okay, so we've got one in there, so that is one coal coming in. So this needs to do two routes to do one, or we can add another one, which will uh, fill it quicker. So can we modify this train? Uh, configure, we can. Let's add another coal on there, finalize that, go onto that one, configure that one, and then add another ore onto that one. And then we could just finalize. And then it... Um, it's, it's, yeah. Um, something's telling me that's wrong, but it works. This one's fine. <laughs> so now we just need to wait for the steel to be produced, which is two out of four right now. So uh, I don't know if we need to send it anywhere. Okay, so we don't have to send it to the workhouse. Oh, we've done it. There we go. Guess what? Bob's your uncle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Victory. Industrial chain primer. S rank, 1 minute 50. Let's go. Hey, Yoshida. Yet again, you passed that test with flying colors. You are good at this. You must have studied during the trip to the colony. Either that, or you could uh, you are hacking the terminal to report false completion times. Please do not hack company computers. It is against... It is against depart departmental policy. Okay. They, they, they think we're hacking, apparently. Um, okay, we're going across here now. I don't know if we still are in the tutorial, but... Oh, first job. Here we go. Hey, Yoshida. Enough learning. Time to put your skills to work. Remember how I failed to pass the validation self-checks? Did you know the validation logic has a remote override feature? I used that manual override to start fixing this region's water export. Considering the situation, I am sure you agree it was a noble action. The results speak for themselves. 
Sadly, the results speak of disastrous inefficiency. Please fix these results. Hmm. Okay. So we've got our first job. We can see the Zeppelin coming down. We've got some things kind of set up here. This place is a real mess. We need to get things back up and running optimally. It does, however, give us a good chance to learn some more advanced skills. Looks like this loop of the track has collapsed and no longer connects the water pumps to the Zeppelin dock. Let's fix it. Okay. While the track tool will try and find a working route for you, sometimes you'll want to have more say in other uh, say, uh, say over where track is placed. Okay. While using the track tool, you can adjust the height of the proposed length of the track by pressing F and V. Try repairing this track to loop the adjusting height of the track while using the track tool. Okay. So, track tool. We want to go to hit. Oh. That was the end, wasn't it? And then we press F and V to raise. Okay. So, if I just press F, I can just kind of raise that to there and then attach it, right? That is now hooked back up. And then this one is to be placed here. So we're going to bring this across here. Like so. Right. And then attach that up to there. It's not straight, but works. Nicely done. Should you ever find the need, you can also remove track and add uh, and any industry you place with a salvage tool. You can, be, uh, you can get partially reimbursed. Okay. So you, get, you don't get all... The money back you get for putting something down, but looks like trains are on a collision course. Uh oh. Thankfully, trains can never collide head on. Instead, one will pass through the other. Oh, there's no train collision. Ah, maybe that should be an option to choose. While ghosting prevents collisions, it can slow down traffic. A train loses its momentum when ghosting. Okay, so it's going to reduce speed here. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, they've slowed down and one of them stopped. Okay. Okay. So maybe the... I don't know if there's a hardcore mode or what, but... Let's see what else can we can learn here. Let's take a look at this track. We can see that there's a junction. Even after trains have been set in motion, you can still make changes to them to suit your needs. Try selecting one of the short trains. Okay. Okay, we've done that. Add three more wa water freights and add an additional engine. Okay, so configure. You want more water and another engine right look how slow it is now now it's time to really get to work we need you to deliver water to the zeppelin dock easy right well it's not that simple a few one-off deliveries won't cut it here we need you to reach a certain export rate of water from the region use everything you have learnt up to this point to reach your export goal good luck okay so we can kind of see we've got a water tank over here, a water pump there, and we need to create another station here, right? So I think that's pretty easy to do, to be honest, because if we just get a track, we'll bring this down here uh, to there, and then bring you along here, uh, just like this, and that's going to attach up to there. And then we're going to bring one from here, to down here and then we're going to attach you up to you and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a station at the end of this station at the end of that station there and a station there now that we've got that how much water do we need so average export rate we need to bring we need to double production that's what we need to do so now we've done that how many stations are they putting down average it's about three so maybe we should do three because that's going to increase the speed right so let's do that and do that. Now, let's purchase a train. Put one onto here. And so one boiler engine and one, two, three water. Maybe that will be enough. We'll see. And we'll put one on this one. And then we'll do three on there as well. Oh, let's put a water. Can I move that? Uh, wait, delete, 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 delete. Boiler engine, water, water, water. Finalize. Okay. Let's see how much that export rate is going to come up now. We could even upgrade some of these because that's got a three, right? That's ghosting. Let's increase that train there. Configure. Let's add a water onto that one. Finalize. And that one's only got one on it. So let's click on you. Configure and add two more to you. And hopefully that increases. We're on 11.7 right now. 12. 
I think after every one of these have done their own run, we should see a good increase here. We've added three trains and some... Uh, ex we can extend that one as well. Come here. Come here. Where, where's my cursor? It's hard to see the cursor a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Add you onto there. Finalize train. Okay, now it's just a waiting game. So let's just hold on and let's see uh, what happens here. Oh, there we go. We got it. I didn't take as long whatsoever. Victory, first job, and should be an S rank. It is. Below 10 minutes, perfect. Bloody perfect. Okay, thanks, administrator. We need we needed you, and you delivered. You saved our bacon. The chat around here uh, is <laughs> the chat around here is you arrived on an economy class rocket. Those same rockets are our grandparents traveled here on. I've never heard of a corpor corporate employee from Earth traveling to a colony planet by work rocket. You must either be incredibly incredibly poor or incredibly humble. Location unknown, no, 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 nameless. Who are you? So now it's going to region two. So oil overflow. Okay. So let's see what this has got up to. To offer to us. Good job on the water delivery. You've learned the basics of track construction and train configuration. Your colony needs energy and lots of it. Nearby is an idled oil power plant connecting to the surrounding oil wells and spin up those turbines. Export the resulting energy and the Zeppelin docks. Make sure you assign workers to the oil power plant. Industry doesn't work itself. Once those turbines are spinning, you will need to maximize production. Do this by building new railways to all oil wells. Afterwards, consider investigating, uh, investing uh, into upgrading for those uh, for these oil wells. Okay, interesting. So we have nothing. It looks like we've got nothing on this. Welcome, administrator. Oil wells permanent license unlocked. We've received a global license file. This license is valid in all regions. Must be built on an oil spring. And there is some oil springs. Okay. In this region, we need to export energy via the Zeppelin dock. This time, however, you'll be utilizing the local oil wells and oil power plant. Okay. So, we need to set up... So, we need this... It all to go to the oil plant, right? And then, we need to send it to the Zeppelin dock. And I don't know how much we need. The timer's not started yet. Because I guess it works by when we place our first item down. We can see oil wells. Um, it's going to produce two for every train, I think. Um, okay, not working. Yes, one crude oil into storage. No catalysts. Okay, so let's have a look at... Is this something we need to do here? Is it some? Is, is it just? Is this just a us free roam now? I think it is. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at... Uh, a train station and let's just start our first our first run right so I'm just wondering if to bring a track on the back end here which is going to go to the Zeppelin dock and the rest all come up to the front maybe in single lines I think that might be the best thing so we don't have to cross anything maybe but we do have some passageways here so we do have to have a crossing coming through here, but then we can still separate and go up this ramp. Okay, so let's bring one line down here. Like this. That's going to pass through here. Uh, and then... We're going to do that. Wait, did I just remove some of the ground? I did! Okay, so I didn't even realise the terrain man manipulation. Okay, so we can actually skip that bit then. Okay. And then let's get a train station coming into here to come along here and then just follow this exactly like this one. It's going to cost us a little bit more money, I guess. But that's one train station set up. So let's get these running now. Uh, let's go with the three again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the same up here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Train on that line. One engine. Three crude oil, finalize. And then again, train, one boiler, three crude oil, finalize. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to create a track. Oh, there's no workers assigned here. Oh, please. Let's get that working. Do we need to assign workers here as well? 
We don't. So now let's get a track from the back of this building. And then take this over here. Yeah. Let's take this right here. And then we're going to get a, a station. One, two, three. Like that. And then we're going to get a train. Oh, no. We need another station here, don't we? Uh, one here, two, three. And then we're going to get a train on here. And we're going to get a boiler engine. I don't know how much... Uh, we'll do two, I guess. Now we've set them up. They're going to be bringing in stuff in, right? There we go. That's making stuff. Skipping station at no freight, of course, because it's only just started. But now working. Okay, 28%, 35%. And that will store it. And let's start bringing in the other ones. So this one's going to be a bit more of a pickle because we need to bring this down here or we could just bring it on platforms and bring it over. So we can see how complicated this will start getting. So let's bring this track straight down here uh, onto this line. Down here, straight here, and then turn that into there. Now we're going to get a station. One, two, three. Uh, a station on this side. One, two, three. Oh, three. A train. And that one on there. Now, let's look into these ones. I don't know if... Oh, these are oil patches. Oh, nicely done. But there are ways to get higher performance out of your industries. Let's talk catalysts. Oh, this is the um, overclocking. Uh, select an oil well or the oil power plant by pressing the left mouse when your cursor is above them to learn more about how they work. Okay. So if I click this. Catalysts are optional inputs that can be provided to industries that will boost production. Catalysts last 90 seconds to provide a steady supply. Okay. Both oil wells and oil power plants use water as catalysts. This is a resource site naturally occurring supplies within a region. In this case, we're looking at a source of fresh, clean water. You can extract resources from a resource site by building an, uh, an associated industry on top of it and linking it to the network with trains and stations. Press 5 to enter industry menu. Okay, so this is new. Industry. Banks are region specific. When borrowing, pay attention to interest payments. The bank will determine your borrow limit based on credit worthless, uh, worth, worthiness factors such as profit and stability. Considering repaying loans to improve. Okay, so we want to. Uh, do we want to open the industry? Do we want to open this? Why is it open this? No, we just want to. Ah, here we go. Water pump. And then we can just place this here, right? Uh, I guess we can do it multiple times. I don't know if. Let's just put it in the middle. Okay, nicely done. Now let's get that blue gold bottle and load it as freight. Provi provide an oil well and the oil power plant with water to use as a catalyst. Okay. So, I'm just wondering. So you can see how things could get a little complicated. So what we're going to do is we will have to use the same lines, I believe, right? Because this one's blocked, this one's blocked. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a train station. We're going to... No, a track, sorry. We're going to put one there. And then we're going to... I guess it's going to have to go here, but the ghosting thing's going to happen, isn't it? There's net we can really do. Um, and let's put another one uh, here. And then connect that up to... Oh, can that not go over there? Oh, it can't go through the track like that? Noted. Okay. I didn't know that. So let's um, salvage this. And you. Let's build the track and then press F to raise it. Get you to come over here. And then come back down on the ground. And then connect up to this track line. Right. Like that, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a train station here. Uh, we've got 11,000 gold, so we're kind of fine right now. A train, and then we're just going to do boiler engine, water, water, water. Finalize. And then we're going to do a train here. 
boiler, water, 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 finalize. Okay. So we will have some trains collide in here and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we now... Oh! We only need to do one oil well, didn't we? Ripper Rooney. Okay, so let's wait for this train then to actually come over. Oh my god, look how slow these are going up this hill. Oh boy, maybe we need to put another engine on them. These are going so slow up here. But we can see using the catalyst, it's actually using it here. So we can see that because... Oh, there we go. That catalyst really boosted our production rates. But there's yet another way to increase the speed of which industry operates. That being upgrades. Ooh. This is a voucher exchange. You can spend the vouchers you earn by earning ranks in regions here to gain access to new industries, upgrades, and engines, and other extras. Select a voucher exchange by pressing the left mouse. Okay. Okay, so we can see this. Custom, a new engine. Here you can see how many vouchers you currently have to spend. We've got 20. If you're short on vouchers, try completing them. So there's a lot of tips, music. You can change the music. So it's kind of like a satisfactory, awesome shop, industry, geothermal plant, oil plant, custom engine. Unlock this license. Yes. I just bought that. Purchase oil plant upgrade. Okay. Um, we need um, uh, <laughs> oil plant upgrade. <laughs> so let's purchase that. It's a good job. Uh, that have it. Oh my God. That's got a lot bigger, isn't it? Now let's put the upgrade license to use. Wait, has it visually changed? It has, right? So, now that you have access to the right license, you can upgrade the level of the power plant, increasing the storage capability and the production rate. Try upgrading the oil. Okay, so purchase that. And purchase it again. Okay, so that's 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 booming right now. That is booming. Now that you know how to cut the catalyst, purchase license and upgrade industry, I think you're set to meet the region's energy export needs. Oh, we've got to do 64. Oh, boy. Permanent license unlocked. We've received a global license file. This license is valid in our regions. Custom engine optimized to enhance climbing and speed. Yes. Excess turn, uh, tuning limits weight capacity. Awesome. So that means we can now, can I upgrade? Or oh, we can, yeah, we can do this. We can change the front of it. Okay, cool. But now we've just got to wait for the 64 to be produced. And that's just going to come on with over time because now since we've had everything running we just need to get up there unless we can figure out how to upgrade these and get them a little bit quicker so let's have a look at this train let's go into this and let's remove everything let's delete this train so oh uh delete 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 and then we're going to add a custom engine on the front with three boilers let's see the difference i should be a lot better to climb if that's the case we're going to do it for um, all the trains. I don't know how much difference it's going to be. I, fe I feel like it has a bit more of a... S like, more speed going up the hill than it does going up it in... Like, yeah, I feel that's what I feel like it is. Maybe we should add another one on the end of it. Let's configure this again. And let's put a uh, engine on the back. Let's see the difference now. Speed. This guy should be speeding all the way there. Oh, God. I didn't realize these squirted oil out. Okay, here we go. He's going to go up the hill now. How quick is he going to get up the hill? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so I've noticed we've actually got a bit of supply here in storage of the actual energy, which is more than enough to get us over the limit we need. So I've just increased this train, and now we're dropping four off at a time. I've just realized as well, we never actually utilize these two oil nodes up here, but I guess it's fine, right? It's fine. We did have the issue with this, so we know we can only attach one uh, train line to one pump. We know that now, so we'll need to put a second water pump down, ideally. Um, and yeah, now we just need, what, 11 more? And then that should be it. And there we go. There is the final load just been sent off. And we've done it. we got 15 minutes, which is a little bit less than an S by 42 seconds i'm okay with that to be honest i would have liked to get a better rank but that's the whole point of this game now it's kind of an obsession to get better rank and better times right and i know what i would have done better the next time is bringing the other oil nodes 
simple as that and got this train to be uh, optimized a little bit quicker. But guys, yeah, so there we go. Thanks, Administrator. We used our portion of emergency energy to re-establish our network connection. The other region told us you're actually not all that bad. Even said you're, you're humble, which is pretty rare, uh, pretty rare for an Earther. Nice to finally work for an Administrator who's not an elitist. But there we go, guys. We're actually going to end that right here. So make sure you check out, you know, the other content I've got right here. And if you've enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of it. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. I want to I, I see more of it myself. So, you know, let me know in the comments and what your thoughts are on the game. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep smiling.